face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better. And of course, on this week, we're going to debate the Pokemon that would very, very much so be called legendary under stats alone, yet resigns in PU and are very, very, how to say, questionable and extremely hard to use because they have abilities that makes them impossible to use in so many environments. Regigigas versus Slack King, both of them represent 670 base stats. That's the same level as Groudon, Kyogre, Mewtwo, all of those jazz, and you will see under stats later on here that they are ferociously dangerous and extremely good powerhouses, but as stated, their abilities will let them down, which is why we're going to bait them as probably the best worst Pokemon in the game. Um, that said, we're actually not going to cover necessarily their Moopal all that much. We're going to debate the different strategies to pretty much perk and evade situations with them, but the Moopal is irrelevant in most regards here due to their abilities alone and just simply how they use themselves in battles. So with that said, let's look at the Goliath versus Goliath. And I'm actually going to show you just one thing that was really great as I was looking at pictures. Because this debate has actually been famous for quite some time. There already is fan art of these very two giants actually duking it out and of course resting in between turns considering their abilities. So with that said, we're going to cover slacking first and talk about that. It was introduced first and then of course we're going to that followed. So with that said, enjoy guys. So yeah, slacking. We should definitely say that both of these Pokemon are normal types, which means immunity in Ghost, weak to finding, nothing to it. Really great thing to have in Generation 3 kind of ruin generation 4 and onward which make normal typing not necessarily as good defensively anymore that said looking at slacking stats yeah it looks the part uh, 150 in of course it's hp 160 in attack 100 in defense 95 in special attack uh, 65 which is the only thing it plummets on actually special defense and then 100 in speed overall slacking is very very dangerous Definitely can take a hit and retaliate really well. That high base HP really is something to be envied about to get it with that amount of attack. Slacking is very bulky, very offensive, and considered the name Slacking, 100 base speed is definitely not justified. Um, the only thing to hold against it is, of course, Truant, which makes sure that it only can attack every other turn. Which also means, of course, that any other turn you are a sitting duck or forces switch out. Uh, this Pokemon actually used a lot of choice band with Hyper Beam in Generation 3. Was awesome at that. It definitely nullified or killed something. Um, kind of not working as well anymore because a lot of defensive responses has kind of come and gone. And most certainly, slacking are a lot more shakeable this time around than it was back then. That said, though, there are things to kind of negate um, slackings. I would say disadvantage. One of them would be actually to come the what do you call it the confedericus uh, mummy ability to be able to pursue trap something with the mummy ability that you pass making sure that you lose the crew and the ability to become mummy and consider that that's a very very viable strat considering what slacking is all about now when it comes to moopal of slacking it isn't necessarily all that much worth mentioning but there are things here that definitely makes it for an ideal and very good threat first the physical moves of hammer arm is really great then we have the annoyance move of John and Encore, uh, which definitely can help out for a possible setup since you actually have Bulk Up and Curse and Amnesia, though Bulk Up is the most preferable one. Slack Up, this Pokemon actually had this as its exclusive move for Generation 3. It's a good move, but as stated, you kind of have to, um, somewhere down the line, actually get the Mummy ability to be able to capitalize on that. Your only means of normal spam is actually Return. You can get Double Edge from Generation 4. Uh, and of course, Double Edge is the most desirable move, considering you already have a really high HP, so it's not like the recall really are damage you that much. And considering 95 special attack, we have a lot of special moves that are available, so the Ice Beam, Blizzard, Thunderbolt, Thunder, uh, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Solar Beam, Shadow Claw, or Shadow Ball, I mean, all of them being extremely viable, even Focus Blast when I capitalize on that, though clearly Hammer Arm is, I would say, the more preferable one. 
Uh, you also can pursue trap, as mentioned before. Bond slam is an option to get with crush claw. Uh, other than that, we have night slash, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. We have the elemental punches in thunder fire and ice punch to get with gunk shot. We have low kick and also stomp in tantrum and focus punch, which definitely are a C available move. Other than that, when it comes to a pre evolution move, we have play rough, which isn't necessarily all that great, but it is an option. Then when it comes to transferable move, there aren't really that many things that interest. As stated before, Double Edge is one of those moves to get it with Mega Kick. Um, was a power punch, but I kind of feel that kind of is in the risky area. But overall, Slacking's move pool is very, very uh, intuitual and can definitely design itself for different environments. The standard set, of course, is Double Edge to get it with the likes of Earthquake, for example, and uh, then follow up Night Slash or something to hit a ghost title such as Shadow Ball or even so far hitting Steel type more reliably than Earthquake and that will mean Fire Blast most likely. Other than that, this Pokemon is a very very bulky one. It definitely is hard to KO and since it's so fast it's very very available to actually killing stuff. But with Pursuit in mind, even if you switch out try yourself yourself only to be Pursuit trapped and get KO'd anyway, yeah, Slacking is a very tough Pokemon to be fending off, and quite frankly, facing this Pokemon in the lower tiers, of course, it's tremendously annoying to fend off properly. It even works in the higher tiers, mainly because this is a Pokemon that are designed for a bit of a hit and run. Since Choice Cards was introduced, it was very tough to be dealing with this Pokemon head-on, and even that Choice Band variant, as I said before, is a very dangerous combination, making Slacking one of the most dangerous Pokemon ever created. Truant is really the only thing holding this Pokemon back. Had Truant not been available for Slacking as its only ability, this Pokemon would very likely be OU, because those stats really, really stands out as a Pokemon that really just punished teams easily. Hell, those space stats really, really are on par with Groudon, and that's something to be wary about. Uh, other than that, you know, slacking, as I said here, it isn't as good anymore, mainly because of the true ability, but if used right and with the right environment around it, it can be ferocious, which is why I really like slacking quite a lot. Now with that said, of course, we have another Pokemon to be covering, which is Ray Gigas, and as I said before, these two Pokemon are standing out as being extreme Pokemon that falls short due to their abilities, and Ray Gigas, of course, is nothing less than ingenious. So, like I said it here, Regigigas is something else. We have the same attack stat here as 160, much like Slack King. So the attack proudness is most certainly the same. However, we have less HP of 1010, but both defenses being actually higher of 1010 on both of them. And of course, 80 special attack, while necessarily not uh, as usable as a 95 special attack on the Slack King, Regigigas do have the same speeds here as slacking at 100. So overall, this really looked to be a Pokemon that are, in my opinion, more balanced than slacking. This is a Pokemon made to last. And for being the first normal type legendary, it perplexes me how they gave it the ability Slow Start, because while Truant is a bad ability, Slow Start requires a lot more from you. Slow Start cuts your attack and speed in half for 5 turns. And these are 5 turns you have to stay active in. That means you cannot switch out, you cannot stall out turns by actually just switching in and out um, to be able to just recover that. You actually have to stay in 5 turns. Once those 5 turns have passed, then the punishment of course starts. If you're becoming switched out after, then after those 5 turns, Slow Start will start again. Or having a slow start again. Quite frankly, it's an ability that really does hinder Ray Gigas because it's forcing it to stay in against a lot of matchup. And this Pokemon does not get protect. Had it got that, it maybe would have been a lot more workable and kind of pivot oneself around that aspect. But as stands, it doesn't get that, and it's something that definitely holding Pokemon's back. Consider how its stat is distributed. When it comes to the move pool of Ray Gigas, we have a few variety that stands out. But overall, I would say just directly as stands, its normal spam isn't necessarily all that good. It actually is a crush grip, which does maximize damage when you're at full health. Uh, other than that, it just keeps on falling, much like flail, basically, but the opposite effect, which means the lower HP, the lower, the lower damage to move itself will make. However, it works for a fair C move, which is why it's mentioned. But overall, return is your best way of attacking, or, you know, possibly frustration if you want to be that guy. 
Other than that, when it comes to its TM move, I was going to say, but its level up move, it gets Heavy Slam, all the elemental punches in Fire, Ice, and Thunder Fang, I was going to say, but Punch, to get with Dissip Punch, which could be a nuisance, but since it's only 10% chance of actually getting the Confusion, you're better off getting the other moves that are Confuse Ray. To get it with Knockoff, we also have the likes of Payback and Sin Headbutt, all of them being, of course, of fair use. It also gets Giga Impact as a level up move, so I'd say this probably is the only Pokemon that gets that. Uh, this is a, other than that, always is a TM move, of course. Um, other than that, when it comes to TM move overall, it isn't as vast on the special side as Slacking. However, Regigas doesn't have necessarily a special attack to pull it off. But we have both Thunderbolt and Thunder, so it's worth mentioning. Other than that, filler decent move here are Earthquake, Brick Break, Rock Tomb, Air Lace, Facade, Focus Blast. Uh, Rock Polish, if you want to set yourself up to get it with the likes of Stone Edge, Thunder Wave is a very good move for Ray Gigas, consider, of course, it as stated already. Confused Ray, Thunder Wave, yeah, it makes sure that you probably can survive 5 turns, it's not necessarily a guarantee, but sure as hell will help. Together with another move that are crucial for Ray Gigas in Regeneration 7, and that is Psych Up. Psych Up, of course, with Normal MC will recover all of your HP. And consider that you're going to stay in and be a sitting duck, being able to recover throughout that and never... Yeah, that's crucial, really important. Other than that, we also have Bulldoze and Rock Slide. When it comes to the tutor move, um, we have some variety here, but all in all, they aren't necessarily all that good. One move that stands out for me, though, is a block, which is able to lock in defensive matchup to be able to possibly survive the turns you want to survive. Uh, together with the core potentially set up with power up punch. Other than that, we also have super power, icy wind, and actually drain punch, which is a secondary recovery move for it. Though I wouldn't necessarily recommend it over the likes of super power because just because of the damage output. But, but it's there and it's very, very viable. Um, the last few moves here that are worth mentioning are Avalanche, which of course, since going last naturally, being able to hit even harder on the ice side is better. Ice Punch is a good um, ice-based move, of course, but Avalanche may be better since if you're not ensuring yourself to go first in the first place anyway. But other than that, we also have Headbutt, and I really want to mention that for one reason, and that's because of Flinch Aspect. Uh, because yet again, Rock Polish together with Headbutt and Thunder Wave could very well ensure that you're eventually actually get yourself out of this extreme trouble and become an offensive threat eventually. But overall, I would say Regigas move pool is better than Slack Kings, but also have a few issues, and of course those issues stands in that it still isn't hitting as hard because of its ability itself. You're very much reliant to run moves that eventually can make sure that you survive X amount of turns before, of course, the slow starts are away from the battlefield. So overall, with Queen Red Gigas and Slack King, they definitely have, I would say, the same type of issues. That is, that they can't work themselves to their full potential, no matter what they do, to respond with their abilities to not be as effective as they were created to be. And what it boils down to for me is that I think both of these Pokémon are offensively very passive, but the other one are forced to be, and the other one just have to be. Slacking is a Pokemon that I think directly is a threat, even though Protect is a something that stalls it out and of course being forced to save and turn not be able to attack is something that's holding it back. Regigigas really don't have anything when it comes out. Slacking hurts when it comes in, it gets the turn to do damage and then it's back to of course resting. Regigigas doesn't hurt, it's forced to be passive until it can start the hurting. And this is something that eventually boils down the issue to uh, what is the reason slacking is actually available in OU and Uber when Regigas is not. And it is basically that slacking has the speed left, it has the attack left. When it comes in, it can be an immense threat directly. And it are able to pull itself together and with the mummy mind, it can actually work with Pursuit to be able to get that ability. Regigas, while having the same strat, aren't as prone to use the same ability, which makes it infinitely much worse than Slacking. Slacking is actually a fair Pokemon, in all things considered, Truant is holding it back, but it isn't holding it back enough like Slow Start is. So, depending on how one of the base is, I mean, Regigas is the winner in that aspect that it has the worst ability between the two. 
And yeah, that's not going to go away. That simply is the way it is. I definitely say that Red Gigas has the better move pool. There are a lot of things, all things considered, that make Red Gigas very, very dangerous. Uh, such as Rock Polish, for example, and Power of Punish. I think it reliably does that better than Slacking. However, since it is defensively, of course, more ex <laughs> more prudent. Uh, but that said, Slacking, just because it is a threat no matter what happens, it still has the access of doing the damage it wants to do, it makes the Pokemon itself just that immense force depending just on the switching. And like I said, Regigas doesn't have that aspect around it. It is forced to play a passive role for five turns, then just maybe attack offensively. And if it forces out, it starts all over again. Slacking for the very least can at least, well I said that twice, but it can actually attack. I've actually seen a variety with um, Giga Impact to get it with red card to be able to kind of nullify the true and work around and be able to just spam Giga Impact anyway. And, and all things considered, slacking, as I stated, is very hard to deal with head on, or you're not prepared for it, which just simply makes the slacking that much better than Ring Gigas. So, with that said, I really want to know what you guys are thinking. I know Ring Gigas has a fan base. I'm not one of them, unfortunately. Definitely want to see Ring Gigas become a solved you know getting just losing slow stroke would just solve everything for it it's actually such an annoyance so with that said we're gonna leave the riggies behind i really hope you like this monthly series with them and next week we're gonna cover a combination of pokemon i really want to talk about for quite some time but till generation seven actually so far in ultra sun and moon they couldn't be debated because it wasn't debatable because how much stronger the other Pokemon were between these two. However, liquidation came to be, hence we have of course the access to talk about the masterful Pokemons that are.